Okay guys, so today we're going to be learning how to make an auto stabilization system for your boats. Let's go. Okay, so the, uh, this right here is a project that I'm working on. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in a um, stabilization system. I don't have any engines or any fuel tanks in it, but I'm going to add those later on. Um, because usually I add my stabilization system first. A lot of people will say that's not the right thing to do, but that's what I do. So what we're going to do is once you've had your boat, once you've built your boat hull, spawn it in. So you can see for this, this is a uh, this is spawning, and and the actual weight is at the front. So that pretty much tells me, hey, look, oh my gosh, what that tells me is, uh I want to put that stabilization system towards the back um, yeah there's a primary reason why we want a stabilization system okay so so now that we've got our um, location that we want it don't worry we're gonna be doing some ones for the actual patch as well what we're going to do is we're going to get a slider going to get some linear tracks and we're also going to get some weight blocks and what we're going to do with this is I'm just going to keep it as white um, what we're going to do is we are going to use a PID system to make this all work so I would stick my x-plane on if I were you and I'm just going to put two tracks in I'm going to put one going that way I'm going to put in one going that way Make sure they're facing the same way. Then I'm just going to extend the tracks out to there. And I'm going to connect them as well. Okay, so we've got our uh, tracks merged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our weight blocks. Now, generally what you want to do is you want to keep everything towards the center as much as possible so I'm just gonna do something like that something like that and then I'm also gonna extend it out two blocks because I can because of those side lips there and so that is actually the um that's the actual moving part of it done now I just need the actual um, system so what we're going to do is we're going to get a tilt sensor search up tilt, tilt sensor I'm just going to play oh, get rid of the x-plane and I'm going to just put my tilt sensor I'll put it up the front here and have it so that it's facing to the right or the left, it doesn't really matter it'll depend on a which way you put your tracks, I'm going to put it to the right, if it doesn't work, if it's going the wrong way when facing the right, then you can just turn around. Next we're going to get a PID system, or a PID controller, and I'm just going to also get a battery, um, and so I'm going to go and hook up a battery to those, I'm going to get a tilt sensor, that's going to be as our process variable, and we're going to get our control output, we're going to put that into our size slider speed. Uh, we're also going to get a constant on signal. Now in your creation you might want to have the stabilization system set on a um, toggle button for like turning it on and off, but I'm just going to have it set to constantly on. So uh, now that we've got that, we've got technically a stabilization system, but it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything useful. So, this is the hardest bit. Um, this is where we're going to tune our PID. And what I would recommend is starting with some... Uh, what you'll want is just some general values. I'm going to put in a 0 0.1, a 0 0.1 for here, and I'm going to leave this at 0. And the reason being is that the integral gain I've learned from experiment uh, ex I guess experiments and experience um, it will make things shoot everywhere so what we're going to do 
is we're just going to spawn this in. I'm going to go straight into photo mode. See it's spawned in. Uh, and then we just... Yep, okay, and we're going to see if it's going to do anything. So... Is our ship rolling? It's not rolling a lot. And that is probably because of the, uh, the weight in the middle. But if we get our stuff up, and so we set our wind to the max, what's going to happen now? So we can see that our boat is rolling a little bit. Okay, so it looks like our stabilization system isn't really doing much. So let's, uh, we'll do, so we'll just, uh, yep, make, make sure that's all connected. We've got our electricity. Let's, uh, let's increase this. I'm going to set this to 10 actually, and that to 10 as well. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll set this to something very, very small like that. We'll see how this goes. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so we can see that it's actually... Uh, oh, okay, so we're moving it the right way, but it's a bit too sensitive at the moment. Um, obviously, you'll probably want to have your engines and fuel tanks in before you do this. Because, whoa, okay, that's quite aggressive. But, you, uh, yeah, so, uh, unfortunately, because of physics, um, in this game, uh, well, if we had our fuel tanks in here, I'm going to just lower this to one. If we have fuel tanks and engines, it'll be a lot more stable. But, you can see that this... Is doing its job so yeah I think that's actually a good pit sitting because it's uh I mean the boats not rolling over anymore um, obviously you'll have to keep on adjusting it until the very end um, but that's the basics of how you actually get one of these done I'm just gonna lower the wind here but uh yeah anyway guys uh well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully you found it informative, and I'll see you all next time.